today we are going to learn about MSH uh, 8 which is nothing but uh, security code so for each and every uh, message there will be a separate security code so for the encryption and decryption and for digital signatures and a lot of other purpose we are going to use security codes the security codes cannot be only alphabets it can be numeric it always depends on uh, what are the security measures and protocol we are taking so we can uh, we can uh, work on this in future when the real time scenarios comes we'll jump to msh9 the most uh, important uh, field in message header this particular segment is nothing but msh9 which is divided into two particular uh, fields msh9.1 and 9.2 by the component separator. I can say this is one component and this on another component. ERT is nothing but admission, discharge and transfer. So when we are uh, learning MSH, we will also be learning about uh, ADTs, orders, results and everything. So A04 is nothing but the code, the code for registered patient. This tool directly gave it over here. You can Google it about the multiple codes of ADT over here you can see. Uh, for ADT 04, like for 04 it's registered patient, 05 it's pre-admit. So there are a lot of codes for single ADT. So for all these actions, there will be a trigger events which is generating. So if we divide this particular uh, thing, message type, it can be divided into two things, message code and trigger event. Message code is ADT. So sometimes uh, when we are dealing with the results, message code can be ORU, Okay, for the ORU, uh, the trigger event uh, will not be like this. It will be something like R01. R yep. You can see for the R01 trigger event, there are a lot of other uh, responses over here. So it, it varies depending upon the message type, it varies. If, for example, we are considering about the order message, we will write it as ORM. Okay, ORM is nothing but uh, the orders. Uh, messages for that we have something like not r but the o so you should never get confused uh, about this thing this is o01 okay this is o01 not 001 so if i type once again over here yeah it's now perfect for the orders it's orm and for the patient query it's qry so it, it varies so another important uh, thing is like financial transaction it doesn't start with F it starts with DFT so you can google this you will uh, directly get it out you don't need to uh, learn everything from scratch or remember everything you'll only remember only few things so this will help us to identify what type of message it is whether it is orders message whether, whether it's like uh, admission discharge transfer uh, RD financial transaction MD MMF and there are a lot of things uh, which are going on inside this particular message type so this will help us to identify what type of uh, trigger has been generated for the particular patient whether it's admitting or discharging so you have like numerous type of uh, message types mostly we'll be using ADT, ORM, ORU, DFT, SIU for scheduling so if you remember them that is uh, very helpful so we are going to uh, face all this particular type of message types in future and with all the example we are going to work on it Right now, we'll end this session and continue with the message control ID.